Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm really excited because we are going to be doing part two of the series that I just uh, started. And this episode is going to be on press on nails supplies. So like what you need to start, including shipping supplies, because I get a lot of questions about that. And then I'm also going to be talking about like the price breakdown. I told you guys in the last video that we would be doing this in this video. So we're going to be doing that today. And believe it or not, I get every single thing that I need for shipping and for press-ons on Amazon pretty much. This is not going to include like nail art, gel polishes, and things like that. This is going to include um, maybe just like the shipping supplies and maybe like nail tips because that's like the most important thing um and things like that and then i think that's what this episode is going to be about so then that can also factor in when we like do the breakdown um how much you should price or how much is coming out of your own pocket uh, for material um not including the nail art so that's what we're going to be doing in this video and this is when i'm going to be showing you guys everything that you kind of need and stuff like that i also wanted to say before we start if you guys have any ideas for what episode three could be i'm thinking of doing like an updated like how to size video uh, but that's going to be a video within its own, like how to size for press on nails and how you guys can tell your new clients or new customers to size. And I do already have a video up on size kits. So I don't, this is not going to include size kits because I already have a video on that. Yeah. So we're going to get right into this. I have my iPad right here. We are going to be looking into everything that I'm, that I use personally, that I use for, that I use for my press on nails. And I'm going to be showing you guys kind of how much it would cost and how much I basically pay out of pocket for material and uh, shipping supplies. So one thing I wanted to say is everybody is different. I do order my stuff in bulk because I feel like the pricing is the best. So in this video, I'm kind of going to show you guys how to price or how to buy things that are the best price so that you guys don't struggle. Uh, like buying little quantities and then you end up paying more in the end. Another thing I wanted to say really quickly is that you guys can also go on big websites like I think Alibaba or something like that. There's like a website where you guys can buy stuff like in bulk bulk like a lot. Uh, I'm not at that level. I just need like a hundred pieces and stuff like that. So that's like what I'm doing this video based on. Not like huge, huge, huge quantities because I don't do that. So yeah, I also wanted to say that. Um, so the first most important thing that you definitely need is like boxes. So you need shipping boxes like to put the nails in. So what I do is I search up, um, like you can search up any color that you want and see if it comes up, but I like to just do cotton filled boxes and I do with the eight by two. So this is what I search up cotton filled boxes eight by two so i'm going to write that right here really quickly so i'm going to talk about why i buy this kind and everything like that so that's why this video is going to be more in detail so i buy the cotton filled ones because the little piece of uh like material that comes in it actually is really important to me because during shipping it protects it in transit so that's why i like using that i'm going to show you guys what one looks like you guys have probably seen this so many times but I have a huge box of 100 of them next to me. I just can't show you guys, but I actually just purchased another pack. Um, here's a new one. So this is what they look like when they come. And I always put my press-ons here on the inside. And if somebody orders two sets, I'll put a set in here as well. So yeah, I like these because it comes with this and I get a box of 100 of them. So I'm going to show you guys uh, if you guys want to purchase like 100 so you guys can be in so you guys can like have a big stock and another thing too you guys this is if you're like really going to dedicate your time to this like if this is going to be serious because you guys are buying like a really high quantity you don't want to spend so much on a big like a uh, high like 100 pack items if you guys are not going to be consistent with it like you know what i mean like if you're only planning on making like one set a week maybe you don't need to get this high amount but if you want to do press ons like every day this is what i what i buy so that's why i keep saying like this is based off of what i do so there's a bunch of different ones you guys can get and the pricing is just different and it just varies based off of what you want to get so for example this pack of teal ones this one is a 100 pack and um this is the size that i use this is 100 for the teal one so it just depends on what your aesthetic is and what color you want and it's free delivery i do have amazon prime so that actually factors into it too i never pay for the shipping um and 
this is the price for that for 100 of them and depending on the design sometimes the price goes up like these marble ones are really really pretty but these are 59 uh there's gold ones these are 58 and there's just a whole bunch of different ones that you guys can get so i always do with 100 pa 100 pieces because this one's only 24 pieces for example this black one and it's 23 dollars. so i can pay like another 23 dollars and get a whole 100 pieces instead of like getting 50 for the same price you know what i mean so you want to get the best um amount for your money this one is 59 for the really cute purple ones and now we're here to the ones i buy so i buy these for 59 these are the pink ones and yeah these are the pink ones these are the same exact ones i always buy this is my other amazon account so it's not going to say that i purchased it already but I, trust me you guys i have purchased this so many times um and yeah these are the ones i get they come in different sizes you guys could even purchase different sizes if you want but i never do that uh, I always just purchase the regular. So these are $59. So we're right here. I'm going to write down uh, $59.99. So basically, so basically I'm just going to write $60 actually. And this is not factoring tax or like shipping. But like I said, this is free shipping. So it doesn't matter really. Um, so this is $60 and you get 100 pieces. So 100 boxes for $60. So now we're going to kind of try to do the math as we go. But you guys, I'm not good at math at all. So this is going to be kind of hard for me. So because we're get, we're paying $60 and we're getting 100 boxes in total, we are going to be dividing 60 by 100 to see how much each one costs. And it is 60 cents. So um, that's how much every single box costs me when I buy them in 100 pieces. So this is the final number. So now we're gonna go on to the next thing that you need. Um, of course, the most important thing as well is going to be like your poly mailers. So I'm just gonna look up poly mailer. And this honestly depends on you because there's also bubble mailers and poly mailers. So there's two different things, you guys. I don't know why this used to confuse me so much, but when you're trying to buy them, you have to search poly mailer if you want like the simple one. So let me show you what I mean. So this is a normal poly mailer. So these are like the thin ones. They just have an envelope. You open it and it seals. This specific one that I have right now is really nice and thick. It's such good quality. Sometimes these are cheap and they rip. But these ones that I got are really, really nice and thick. And I really love them. So maybe I'm going to try to find this exact same one. I have no idea how I found it though. And I, like I said earlier, I'm not signed into my other account. Um... I think I just searched pink poly mailer and it came up. Let me see. Um, see, and the other ones are bubble mailers. They're these ones that have like padding inside. These are better, to be honest, the ones with the padding. I prefer those, but they cost more. So that's why I don't buy those all the time. And another thing is you guys can buy whichever design you want. But the biggest problem is like sometimes is like you always need to look at the reviews. That's the most important thing. And here are the ones that I bought. They are these ones right here. So these are the pink cheetah ones. I bought a 100 pack. So I always try to buy things in 100 because it's just better. And I buy the 10 by 13. So that's what I always do. Um, and it is $24. So now we're going to put poly mailers. I hope this, guys, this helps you guys. Uh, if you guys are planning on like doing this. So these are $24. And we get... 100 pieces and that is going to be 24 cents each one. Oh, so it's just the number oh okay that makes sense so it's just the number that it says right there oh my gosh you guys i'm learning math all over again <laughs> so uh 24 cents each okay so as you can see, it's already barely costing us even a dollar. So uh, this is already worth it. Um, so don't be scared. I have a lot of people always telling me like, how do you make money if you pay a lot on the supplies? And the thing is, I don't pay a lot on supplies. So that is uh, the main thing. So next thing um, is going to be... Let me think of the other most important thing. Oh, I use little bags. So that, again, this is just depending on you and how you want to do it. 
but I do use these little bags for my shipping supplies. So I put all the little stuff in here, like the application kits, and I get these cute ones that have moons and stars on them. I think these do cost a little more than the simple ones, but just for the uh, fact of, just for like the basic starting, um, I did use pink for like a long time. I barely started using these little star ones like a little bit ago. So I just use the regular ones and they're called pink organza bags. And I think I buy, I think I buy the four by six inches, the the basic ones. Yeah, four by six inches is I think what I buy. So we're gonna look for the cheapest one. There's so many options on Amazon. There's this one for $10, this one for $8, $12. These ones are cute because they have polka dots on it. So it just depends on like what design you guys are trying to go for. Um, and see, these are 50 pieces for $5 but we can get 100 if we just pay like one or two dollars more so it looks like the main price is like seven to eight dollars oh look this one's hot pink but these are the three by four these are the tinier ones you guys can get the small ones too it still fits in there but i like the big ones because i like putting extra things in there so see this one's four by four um I think the four by six is the best size. And like I said, I get 100 pieces. So let's see which one's the best price. The best price one I think is the one that was up here. This one for $7.98. So it is exactly $8. And look, there's so many different colors you guys can choose from based on your aesthetic of your brand. Sometimes it can be green, it can be lavender. Literally make it unique because that's what's gonna make it stand out. Don't try to like copy somebody else because then it's gonna look like repetitive. You know what I mean? Try to make your own thing. Do whatever you feel right, feels right to you and just do whatever you like the most. So now we're going to do... Okay, so my pink organza bags, I get 100 pieces um, and I pay $8. Okay, so I feel like that's gonna be, what is that, like eight cents? Yeah, 0 0.08. So I pay only eight cents per bag. Per little baggie. So we're still uh, 60, 70, 80. We're still like literally only $1 in, you guys. Like literally $1 in. So you could see that this is already really cheap and it doesn't cost a lot to buy the supplies that you need. So now next thing that you're going to need is a cuticle pushers. So I like to look up cuticle pushers. And you guys, this is just what I put in my application kits. You don't have to put all this stuff, but this is just what I do because I feel like I like supp supplying uh, my customers with everything that they, they're gonna need. So that's why I like to do this, but um, these are usually the ones I buy, these little plastic ones. They're like uh, really easy to use and they don't hurt or anything. And I think I do usually buy the 150 pieces and I just buy the colorful ones because I don't really care. You could also buy these uh, regular like wooden kind. These are the cheapest ones. And a lot of people use these and a lot of people ship these ones. So if you wanna just start like start off basic, you guys can definitely use the wooden ones. These are just the simple orange wood sticks cuticle pushers. Um, but again, I told you guys like I'm literally extra so i like using these ones but you don't need to do that so i don't know if i should factor in these ones or the wooden ones i'm probably just going to do the plastic ones because those are the ones i use so i usually try to look for the highest amount of possible in bulk so this is 100 pieces for 11.49 and this is 150 for 11.99 so i think this one's the best price so we are going to be putting this one and this one is called um plastic cuticle pushers okay and um this is 100 piece and 50 pieces and this is 12 dollars so 12 dollars and i get 150 pieces this costs us eight cents as well Guys, tell me if you feel like I'm doing something wrong because I'm not good at math like I mentioned so I'm like trying my hardest but I'm not gonna lie to you I haven't even done this for my own like small business like I haven't even tried to calculate all this and see how much it costs for each person I just find the cheapest 
products I can find for the best quality and that's what I purchased. So I just wanted to say that really quickly. I'm not like a professional at this. Um, next thing that you're going to need is mini buffers. So I like providing mini buffers and mini nail files. You guys don't have to do both, but I do provide both. So I'm going to put that on the paper. Uh, mini buffers bulk and I always buy the one with the best price. Because usually they're only used once. People probably lose them or I use them once and throw them away. So I don't worry too much about it. So these are 130 count. As you can see, these are literally basically the exact same types of buffers. But they have two different prices. So 130 count for $8, 130 count for $11. And the grit doesn't really matter that much. So I don't really look at that. This is 1500 for $50. I never buy that many because that's just too much. I think I usually do this one for $8.99. Uh, this one's also 130 for 8.99. For some reason, I started buying the white ones because the orange ones are just not that aesthetic. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like the orange ones in my application kits. You guys know this. Again, I'm so extra. So I'm going to be getting the white ones. And these are 8.99 for 130. So uh, this is what it is. 9 divided by 130. And it is this number. I think you just round up, right? Round up. So it would be 7 cents. Uh... I am pretty sure that's right. Sink because the six is here, it means it's six cents. But if it was here, it would be 60 cents. So it's 60, six cents for each piece. But because it has a nine, I think I'm gonna round up, right? Is that correct? You guys that are good at math, please correct me. But I think it's seven cents per piece. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, seven cents each. Oh, super cheap doesn't really cost that much and next thing you are going to need is going to be i think we'll do the uh nail files okay you guys you could purchase these ones you guys probably know what these are i'm not sure if you do but they are so thin and flimsy they are the worst quality but they are the cheapest ones so i do not get those ones personally i just don't you guys can get the other kind so this is 50 pieces i don't do that i think i always get these ones these are the ones i have right now so i'll even show you guys um, I have them right now. These ones, they come in a bunch of different little patterns. I got those because they are more aesthetic. They're cuter. And just because they're better. This one's also a good one. I have bought this one before when the price was lower, but it went up. So I am buying this one now. So this is 100 um, pieces for $9 again. And these are just mini nail files. So I just looked up mini nail files bulk. So uh yeah nine dollars and this is 100 pieces i feel like we already did something like this didn't we um so yeah i think that means it's going to be nine cents each So those end up being nine cents each one, which is really cheap. So next thing that you're going to need is going to be um, some little alcohol prep pads. So those are the ones I use. And these are the ones I use because they're a good price and they work very well. So these are the ones I give for my application kits. And I just look up. And I know that these are a really good price. So... There's so many different ones. This one's 400 for $9. This one's 200 for $6. And I think the ones I just showed you guys are these ones. 400 for $5. So those are the ones that I get. Um, I think those are the best one, one, the best price. Um, yep. For all of the ones that they're showing here, these ones are the best price. And I love these ones. They have really good reviews. Look at this. They're 5 out of 5 out of 28,000 people that rated it. So that's why I bought these ones. They're really good. And these are the ones I always buy all the time. So these are alcohol prep pads. And again, all this stuff I'm mentioning is either for shipping or application kits, which is what you need to send off with your packages. So um, this is just to clean off the dust from their nails after they're done buffing and filing them. So that is what we're doing here. And this one is, I'm just, it's $4.49, but I don't know if I should just say like $5 or if I should write $4.50. Like, honestly, I'm just going to put $5 because it's probably like the same thing anyway. 
Again, you guys, I'm not a professional. And you get 400 pieces of this one. So it is literally, you guys, one cent each one. Like, that is crazy. Is that even correct? Or is it 10 cents? No, yeah, you guys. It is one cent. One cent for each one. So that's crazy. So, yeah, that actually makes sense because... It would be like, if you put the decimal, it would be like $4 for the whole pack. If you have 400 or whatever. You guys, I don't know. I don't know if that's right. But yeah, this has to be right because this is how you divide it. So I'm just going to put literally one cent. And because I knew that these are so cheap, I always send two. So I send one uh, alcohol prep pad per hand. So I send two uh, for each set of nails. You know what I mean? Next thing you're going to need is the nail glue. This is the one that probably costs the most. And this is the one that always gets me every time I have to rebuy it. I'm like, oh my gosh, it sucks. But um, it's very necessary. So there's a bunch of different nail glues you can get. I used to use these ones before the price went up. They cost a lot now. For 40 pieces, you, only, you have to pay $20. So I don't use that one. I think the one that I use now, um, let me try to find it. I think I use this one, 45 pieces for 18 dollars is that the one i get oh my gosh you guys i think the price went up because i'm pretty sure these were like 14 dollars the other day that freaking sucks because i'm gonna have to repurchase this soon so yeah i think that's like the best price but honestly looking at this because this is only 45 pieces i feel like the kds would be the best bet because this one looks like it would be cheaper i think for the sake of this we're just going to do the kds yeah, you guys, so the KDS actually ends up being a better deal than this one, and this one is the one I'm using now. So I think I'm going to switch over to the KDS that actually has better reviews. So I'm just going to start using this one now, I think. I think that you end up saving like a dollar or two, so this is just more worth it. So the next time I have to repurchase glue, I'm going to be buying this one. So I'm going to do this. So this is um, KDS Nail Glue Bulk, and it's going to cost... Uh, let's just say $39 and you are going to get 100 pieces so like I said this is going to be one of the most expensive things you buy again with the boxes because this just costs like so much this happens with all the time with all the glue so um let's see how much that's going to cost us so it's only 39 cents per glue so it's still cheap but just buying everything at once is going to be expensive you know what i mean but once you buy all this stuff on the list you're not going to have to repurchase things for a while which is going to make it so worth it so uh i'm just going to put 40 cents just to round okay and are we missing anything do we have everything already uh, boxes, mailers, organza bags, cuticle pusher, buffer file, prep pad, glue. Um, let me think of something else. Uh, another thing that you're going to need, this is actually important, is the double-sided foam tape. But I don't know how to try this isn't like per piece so i'm not gonna like calculate it all crazy like i am doing right now but the one i usually buy is i think it's i think it's this one this is the one i buy so i get the one half inch by 50 feet and you can also get the one fourth inch but it's really really thin so you see what i mean like the little tape is going to be thin uh, I like it a little thicker, so I'm going to get this one. This is the one I always buy. $9 for this, but it lasts a while, you guys. Like, you're going to have a lot of... You're going to have to go through a lot to get through this. So, uh, I'm going to be doing double-sided foam tape. And that one is going to cost $10. And... That is just how much it is. I don't know how to calculate like exact amount that I use. I don't really know how much sets I get out of one roll. I've never calculated that before. Um, so yeah, that's another thing you're going to need. And another thing, of course, that you're going to need is like the nail stands and then the nail tips. So we can try to see how much a bag of nail tips is, but I'm not going to know really how to calculate it exactly. So these are the nail tips that I use. Uh, for example, my most used one is probably square and then also a uh, long sculpture square, which is right here. So long sculpture square is $12. Um, 
So let's just say long square tips and medium square tips. In case you just wanted to start off with square to start, you guys can start with coffin too, but I feel like you guys can start with coffin too, but I feel like not a lot of people buy coffin, like especially from me, like I barely get people that order coffin. Square is literally the most popular shape. So um, those ones are $12 and then the regular square is also $12. So 12 plus 12 is 24. So you're spending $24 on only two bags of nail tips. So that's kind of pricey, but these shapes are really popular and I promise your page will go up more if you're using like the trendier shapes. You know what I mean? You can do all coffin, but for some reason, a lot of people don't like it. And I hate it because I love coffin nails, especially on myself. That's what I like to use the most, but I barely get orders for coffin. That's mainly square. Those two shapes are the ones I purchase the most so that is what we're going to factor into our price so $24 and um I think as far as the nail tip stands I'm not going to put that just because you guys can use whatever you want and you honestly don't even need to use a stand which is crazy uh you guys can literally use like one of these brushes with like putty on the edge and put the nail tip on it and you guys can paint on this like it doesn't even need to be a pr proper stand you can make the nails however you want and uh that just depends on you because there's also aliexpress which has cheaper nail stands and you can also buy like the cuticle pushers and everything else on aliexpress too but uh i'm not going to do that just because in amazon buying it on amazon you can get it like faster so that's why i like doing that but now we're going to factor in how much it's going to cost us for like the individual items so like for example how much it would cost for each thing so i think it ends right here so all this up right here is all stuff that we need to factor in price for like each person of how much it's going to cost to ship these items to them. So 40, 41. So just for all of these right here, it's already $1, exactly only $1. So 24 cents plus 16 plus 7 plus 50. So this is about $1. It's 97 cents and then 60 cents. So uh, plus 60, $1.57, you guys. So that is all I pay to ship off my application kits with the poly mail with the poly mailer and with the box included. So this is everything included. This is the total for each person. So I hope this shows some perspective into how much everything costs. I'm going to put this right here so that you guys can screenshot it if you want to. And of course, this is the best price that you can get. Um, so when a lot of people will ask me or like if somebody asks me, how do you even make money because you're paying so much on the supplies, you guys you are gonna have to purchase all this stuff in the beginning, but you're gonna start seeing money like right away because you're gonna make this, you know what I mean? Like you're only spending this per person. So it just makes it worth it. Uh, think about this way. Uh, so let's see how much the total is. So this is per set slash order. And of course that varies depending on how many sets they order and things like that. But um, let's, do the actual total for how much you have to pay to buy all this stuff right here so let's do that really quick so that we can see how much you guys would have to save if you want to do that so sixty dollars so you guys this is actually crazy because it is exactly two hundred dollars on the dot that you have to pay to buy all the supplies so i know that's kind of pricey you guys trust me i get it i really do because it is it adds up so fast um i'm pretty sure i added everything correctly 60 70 80 uh 90 and then like 1 2 3 40 50 60 70 80 yeah so it's exactly 200 dollars to buy this literally that's without the tax just adding everything together so this is how much you guys would need to save if you're planning on doing this or how much you would have to spend out of pocket at first think about this let's say you spend pay you charge like fifty dollars a set you only need four clients or yeah a fifty dollars to basically make this back so think about it that way um that's the way i like to think about it so and then this is how much you're actually paying to give each person their thing which means that you're getting a lot of profit and 
yeah you guys that's pretty crazy again that doesn't include nail tips you guys could include the nail tips but i'm not going to do all that let's just say max it would be like what like three or four dollars like think about it that way three or four dollars per person and that's like total like max like three to four dollars is probably the max you'll spend um so yeah that's all i'm including here and of course, you're going to take the total of that out of this price total of how much you charge for your set and you can charge accordingly to whatever you feel is fair. And then you get to keep the rest for your time and the amount you spent sending the set. Of course, you can factor in like all the other crazy things like printer paper, paper shipping and everything like that. I do include free shipping on every single set and shipping is usually around like $4. So I take that out of the total as well. So that's why I usually charge like $60 to $80 depending and that's for my time, my experience, and like, you know, my art, my skill level, basically. So yeah, you can take out like shipping and everything like that. And another thing I wanted to say is I do um, ship on pirateship.com. That's the one I use. So it's just literally called pirateship.com and it's super easy. They give you the best price and it's super easy to ship on there. And I just use a regular printer and regular printer paper and some tape, stick it on the poly mailer and you're good to go. And I go drop all my packages at the post office. So that's how I do it. Um, and you guys, I was supposed to write like the breakdown right here and I didn't even do it, but yeah, you guys can ignore that. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. This is everything you need to start. And then I hope that kind of explains to you guys more about the things that you need and everything like that. Again, please, 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 you guys, I need ideas for my third video. What should it be? The third video of the series. I'm kind of thinking like sizing and like showing you guys my size kits and like how I would do that. And, um, again, it doesn't have to be like a super long video, but like it could be like a video just explaining to you guys what I do and that's it for this video and i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys liked doing this breakdown with me because it's really actually really interesting to see how much i pay to ship my stuff out so i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next one bye